Colin Rooney Viva, Rebecca Vardy. What an absolute madness. Have you guys been keeping an eye on this? This is something that I saw pop up on my old Twitter feed. Twitter has been amazing the last few months for me. I have, I've, I've kind of curtailed using Instagram. I don't really use that Instagram as much because I try and put my own content out. I don't really browse on it. So I don't really open it if I don't have to put my own content on it. And if I do, I just kind of post and dump. But I end up t- browsing Twitter quite often because it's got loads of articles I like to read and that sort of shit. And, you know, the trending page is really, really good in terms of kind of gauging what people are talking about and all that malarkey, right? So randomly, a story pops up about Colin Rooney and Rebecca Vardy. I was like, what? Um, at first, I thought it was another Colin Rooney, you know, adult, uh, what do you call it, infidelity kind of story because, you know, she's kind of gone through about a bit of ringer. If you don't know who Colin Rooney is, if you're outside of the UK, she's the wife of uh, a very famous English football player that we have here called Wayne Rooney, who's played for Man United, um, Everton who now used to play for the Miami, is it? Miami Heat or something like that. I've got some team in the US. Now he's come back to the UK. I think in January he's going to be playing for Derby. But um, a very influential, very big um, superstar um, in terms of football in the UK. But he's not, um, I would say, he doesn't, uh, I, I, you don't judge him, but he's not very considerate of his wife sometimes, right? He doesn't really have a, she's not on the front of his mind when he's out with the lads doing his fun, doing his fun time. So she tends to be put in some very unfortunate, uncomfortable and quite embarrassing situations where, you know, the public are, you know, laying on top of her and telling her what she should do with her marriage and all that sort of stuff. And it's a very interesting argument because someone like Colin Rooney has kind of effectively been a ride or die wife for Wayne Rooney since the beginning of time, right? Since we've known of Wayne Rooney as a footballer, she's been by his side, um, you know, smiling, holding the house down, being his support system, looking after their children, just being the, you know, the, the kind of like, you know, the quintessential footballer's wife, right? Just holding shit down back at home. But it seems as if Wayne Rooney doesn't necessarily reciprocate that thing in terms of not publicly embarrassing and stuff. And it doesn't, and the public seems like they, you know, they want to get involved and lend their opinion. But I'm very, it's very admirable of Colin Rooney that she's kind of stuck to her counsel and meant and remained con- incredibly loyal, firstly loyal. Like the more, it feels as if the more, the more people tell her to leave Wayne Rooney, the more that she says, you're not going to tell her what to do, right? She's just like completely headstrong, doesn't really bend or fold and kind of, you know, she's of the, uh, she's probably of the thinking that, you know, it doesn't matter what he does. He's looking after her family, provides an incredible lifestyle. Some stuff he does is very embarrassing, but until it gets to a point where, I don't know, maybe until it gets to a point where, God forbid, he impregnates somebody, maybe then she might decide to go somewhere else. But until then, she's probably just seeing it as, you know, this is just a, a man acting like a man and she's, or maybe they have an agreement. I don't know. It's not for me to judge, but she's, for me, in my opinion, you know, a, a super sick ride or die wife because she kind of holds it down, doesn't really listen to the outside world. And essentially, I'm sure behind the scenes, she definitely does scold Wayne Rooney and tell him that, you know, if he does, because we know if he does fuck up again, He's going to get taken for a lot of money. So uh, especially if they haven't signed a prenup, like that's an expensive, um, that's an expensive one night stand. He's going to have to um, make, if he ends up making that mistake once again. But anyway, this has nothing to do with Wayne Rooney. This is all to do with um, Wayne, Colin Rooney and Rebecca Vardy. Rebecca Vardy, the wife of another uh, very famous English football player called James Vardy, plays with Leicester City. They've become friends, I think, over the last few years or months. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention, but she kind of put out this tweet that got the internet absolutely ablaze. And I was like, oh my God, what a clever woman. So again, you know how you should never underestimate people and never think that they're dumb or stupid because she did something that I don't think a lot of people would be able to do or a lot of people would have had the foresight to have done. So she put out this tweet, I think yesterday, right? I'm going, I'm going to have it here on the screen for you guys to check out. Hopefully you can see it there. Yep, you can see it, right? Yeah, can you see that? Yep, you can see that. So she put out this tweet um, that was incredibly funny. Um, Colin Rooney and it was on the other day and it says the following it says um, this has been a burden in my life for a few years now and finally I've got to the bottom so it's a few years it's been happening she's been kind of bottling this up and keeping this to herself um, she says here the following um, for a few years now someone who I trusted to follow me on a, my personal Instagram account has been constantly informing the Sun newspaper of my private posts and stories this has been so much information given to them about me my friends and my family all without my personal knowledge which is something that I've always kind of interested me always kind of made me curious with celebrity news you go on places like tmz on or daily mail you see these kind of you know garbage headlines and some of the stuff is very very pacific though like some of them rumors they talk about celebrities it's super pacific like stuff that you kind of think if you're like a sane rational human being that doesn't necessarily involve yourself in gossip or in drama of celebrities you'd be like how the fuck did they know that All right Sometimes, you know, there are speculation articles about, you know, if someone comes out and not wearing a wedding ring or what's going on, are they broken up? And then you realize, no, it wasn't. She went to the gym. She forgot to put her ring back on. Right. But there's some stories that come out that are hyper specific about people's brothers, about people's sister-in-laws, about something that happened on a holiday, like really specific stuff that only the people that were there or who were, who were told 
um, after the events happened would have known or like close friends right so we're gonna be thinking like imagine what kind of friend would you have to have in your circle of friends that would think that that was okay to do and how much money is enough money to kind of throw your friend under the bus to betray your friendship like how much money is enough because i think especially in these sort of circles especially when it comes to the women of you know the whole like yeah the other halves of sort of celebrities i think so more so than, yeah let's let me say women more so it must be a pretty lonely lifestyle right because essentially you've been propelled to this kind of level of fame and fortune that essentially alienates yourself from all your friends that you've grown up with right because they can't necessarily go out with you because you know you're gonna go out into different places you're going to chill on firehouse you're going to soho house you're going to um what's that place in la ah that all the kai genders and they're not going to you go to these like amazing kind of like you know private member restaurant clubs and all that malarkey and you have a good time right but they don't necessarily in the price bracket or in the affordability bracket of your friends you grew up with so it's hard to find girlfriends so then when you do find them that and who also have the same sort of lifestyle so you don't have to feel guilty about them you don't have to feel like you are um, showing off you don't have to feel like you know you're making them feel uncomfortable you just be yourself around your other friends who are rich and famous too it must be super messed up for your head to figure out that this person who's also in the same sort of lifestyle that i'm in who knows all the struggles knows all the pain and knows how difficult it is is also he's the one also betraying me because it'd make more sense if it was your friend from back in the day right because there might be some resentment there there might feel there might be some jealousy there, some envy but no it's actually these new friends that you've made who know the trouble and the hurt that you go through being a celebrity who are then kind of betraying you and selling your story and it's like how much money is enough to sell your story to a friendship especially to some garbage paper like the sun it's insane but anyway it continues after a long time of trying to figure out who it was um for various reasons i had a suspicion uh to try and prove this i came up with an idea this is where um, colin Rooney is a fucking genius right never underestimate a wag i blocked everyone from viewing my instagram stories except one account those on my private account must have been wondering why i haven't had stories on there for a while over the past five months i posted a series of false stories to see if they made it their way onto the sun newspaper and you know what they did the story about gender selection in mexico the story about returning to tv and then the latest story about the basement flooding in my new house <laughs> absolute genius and it's incredible because i remember listening recently to joe rogan podcast or somebody else where they were talking about how how um shitty how um overrated we think our sense of falsehoods are right we we think we can tell who's lying and who's telling the truth but really and truly like there's no difference between a general no i think the 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 the, the person was saying there's no difference between the skill of being able to identify who's lying or telling the truth between someone on the some everyday average joe on the street and a you know a 20 year cop right they don't have any special skills that you don't have they just it's just a gut thing you just have to go with your gut and hope that it's right it's a 50 50 chance of you figuring out that person's lying on it there's no telltale science but what a clever way to find out who's feeding the story because on instagram stories i'm pretty sure you guys are aware that there's that there's that way that you can block for people from having so if you've got if you've got like a private instagram account with your celebrity and you've only let some of your friends follow you that are also in that celebrity field and the, the promises that you guys don't share or screenshot your story to anybody else you would only have a small amount of people you follow anyway right it'd be a close account probably be 50 followers maybe no, maybe less so it's easy to just go through your list of people um when you're sharing your instagram story and say block 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 and just kind of you know quickly tap on them so for her to kind of go a, a kind of elimination process right just probably clicking the first five then the first 10 then the first 15 you know, and quickly going down the list until you get to a person that you think it is and then purposely putting out fake story after fake story and seeing what actually lands on the paper absolutely genius stuff um it's been tough keeping it to myself and not making any comment at all especially when the stories have been leaked however i had to and now I, and now for certain which account individual has come from i have saved the screenshots of all the original storage which clearly show just one person has viewed them it's rebecca vardy's account wow so her best one of her best friends in this whole wag world right um wives and girlfriends or footballers is the one who's been feeding the sun this garbage newspaper all these rubbish um sensationalized stories of her and it now seems well if you're, if you're a colleen rooney you now know that all the stories that came out prior in those papers were possi possibly were coming out from her too which i think is disgusting from a friendship point of view but also makes a lot of sense to me like i said because for many times that i've browsed tmz or daily mail i've always wondered to myself like how the hell did they get this information right there's no way some 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 information it's like you know if you go to if uh if if god forbid one of the celebrities had to go to like a planned parenthood place right you know there's a nurse or a receptionist or just someone in the reception or another patient could easily recognize a celebrity and say oh by the way i saw xyz celebrity in the, in the reception maybe she's getting an abortion that that could happen 
But there's some stuff that happens. There's some specific stuff that happens beforehand that no one else would know about. That only your friends would know. They'd have to sell you out on, which is kind of disgusting. And I'm sure people would say, "Oh yeah, she just got betrayed, you know, by Judas." But mama mia, man! If you're a celebrity, like really, how much money are you getting from the sun? If you imagine you're Jamie Vardy's wife, right? Um, how much does Jamie Vardy earn a week? Let's just let, let, let's let's find out how much Jamie so Jamie Vardy so Jamie Jamie Vardy Jamie Vardy uh, salary. Let's see how much he gets paid a week, right? Jamie Vardy is currently on an, uh, on a salary of eighty thousand um, a uh, a week, right? According to Google, right? He's on eighty thousand a week, yeah, Jamie Vardy, eighty thousand a week, which is no, you know, which is no fucking chump change. Which is what a month? That's like you know three hundred and twenty thousand pound a month, which is what a year? That's like you know three point eight mil a year without tax and that malarkey, right? And that's not including whatever his wife gets in terms of you know her endorsement deals, maybe sponsorships on Instagram, all these other appearance fees, blah 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 blah. blah. What could the son really be offering um, Jamie Vardy's wife that would make it worthwhile for her to leak stories about Colin Rooney? Fair enough. Maybe Colin Rooney is the perfect friend to leak a story about because, you know, she's a one woman kind of content machine. There's always something going on in their family that they can kind of pretty spin out and put it out in the public. But is your friendship, is that 20 grand really enough? I don't know how much the son, how much does the son pay for stories? 20 grand, 10 grand, 5,000, I don't know, a grand, maybe less. Like, is, is, it, is that really um worth it to kind of throw your friend under the bus i don't think so and now you know what's gonna happen in the second part of the story jamie vardy is gonna put that oh i think rebecca vardy posted a tweet recently too saying oh she's she's shocked and appalled and she's pregnant and somewhere else in another country and she's gonna l- seek legal counsel to kind of make sure people don't you know say her name and like you know say accuse of something that she didn't obviously do well the other the other solution could be that someone in her camp is using her phone and then someone one of her sisters is using her phone and then leaking the stories uh, of Colin Rooney to the Sun paper or that that could be something that's happening because you know she's a big star maybe she doesn't use her phone maybe she's not on her account all the time but I don't know man it must be crazy isn't it imagine being that being your friend and them doing that to you it must be absolutely nuts what a nutty feeling to have so yeah big up Colin Rooney though isn't it she showed everyone that even though she, people think she's quite dim and she's quite you know simple that she isn't she's a very very smart girl that is an am- or very smart woman sorry what an amazing strategy to find out if somebody is snitching onto the sun and again the sun really proving you know that they are the garbages of all garbage papers in it out there right because you know for sure it's gonna happen next they're gonna come out now and they're gonna confess to it they're gonna say yes she was our uh, informant maybe they can say that or maybe not because they might sign an nda they know they're gonna do something you know they're gonna do something shitty um to kind of throw um jamie vardy's wife under the bus as well a little bit and rebecca vardy so it's just gonna be an absolute mess so for sure keep an eye on it if you're interested in that sort of stuff for me it's, it's a bit too much girl drama but i just thought the approach was really really funny and really interesting to kind of see um what an absolute clever tactic from colleen rooney big up her and yeah let's see how this kind of rumbles out i don't know how you kind of if you're a friend you did this, you just have to throw your hands up and say, yeah, I'm sorry. You, there's no way of kind of rectifying this, but I'm sure most people that lie to this extent or they are this manipulative won't admit it. They're going to just keep riding that lie to the end of the earth, right? Look at Jussie Slamet. Jussie Smollett, as, as uh, Dave Chappelle likes to call him, he's still kind of out here kind of protesting his innocence. So, you know, you, you never know. She could surprise us all and just admit it or she could just continue just riding that kind of lie all the way into the sunset. But yeah, Colleen Rooney, smart woman, smart, smart woman.